Alrighty. Two night crawlers. Send it out there. Let's see if anybody wants to take a look. Right at the mouth of a creek flowing into this river. This river is raging. I think you can see that. You can see all the foam and everything, and it's just booking past me. I was out here the other day. I got not a single bite, but I figure, you know, if I'm gonna fish anywhere, this seems like one of the better spots where the fish can come and get out of the current because the current is gonna blast them out of the main river. So. Talking about visibility of about one to two inches, maybe. It's actually almost zero. That's the thing I'm not thrilled. Oh, oh hey, 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 we got a bite over there. Huh, something's biting me. Well, hold the phone here. Something's hitting me. I'll let him nibble on it and maybe eventually he'll get hooked. Oh, I got something. I got something. What was that? He felt like he hit it. Oh, no. Oh, he hit that. He hit that. He hit that. There, that was a... Uh, that fish hit it 100%. Gosh, dang it. That could have been my Walter right there. Dang. He was, he was a good one, too, if it was a walleye. I just snagged a log, and I didn't change my hook. And uh, it doled out pretty good. And did I get did I get him? I think I got this guy. Yes, let's find out what we got here. He's not fighting at all. It is a tiny catfish. Exactly what I thought that was. Tiny channels down there, but it's the first open water fish of 2023. Okay, maybe I should have brought some shad. Maybe there's some bigger channels in there. Seen a few floating around. If I can get my hands on some there we go I can get some hand my hands on some of this shad that's floating around it's not fresh but just looking for any big current breaks there's one right here and it's deep so I should probably stop and throw a few casts in there yeah so usually I stand down there about five feet below where I am right now that shows you how high the water is Some nasty dead shad down there, but mm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna use some night crawlers. They don't look like fresh shad anyway. Maybe there's a big drum down there. Big wall I could hit this too. Alright, it is deep and it is fast. Let's see where we settle here. Oh, we came, we settled in. Okay. Let's see how long it takes that to get snagged. A lot of water. Uh, really high. yeah. I mean, all the all the snow melt plus all the rain we had. So it's it's pretty high, yeah. <clears throat> got one. I got something. I got something. I got something that's pretty pretty good size too. Might have snagged him, but yeah, we snagged him. Snagged a buffalo. Ah man, I always get so excited before I snag a fish. It's a little buffalo too. I always get excited this time of year, and then you, it always ends up being a snag. Well, we're gonna get a C. A little bigger fish today. Nope, no, no, we're not. He's gone. I think I would rather have it that way. I can tell that one was a snag straight away. Just felt like I ran into him. And he didn't fight, so. Let's try one more spot, maybe. Maybe two. So there's usually a little spot here out of the current it's usually last year it was dry the whole time because the water was low but when the water's high like this 
it kind of makes for a good spot for fish to tuck in and get out of the current so might give it a shot here but there is a trail and there have been some humans on this trail so somebody's been thinking the same thing I have this would be a nice spot look at this totally out of the current and there's a lot of worm boxes and stuff down here so other people have been checking it out toss out my worm rod in here close it's just snaggy there's rocks or debris down there there how about there I feel myself chunking on things a bunch of snow geese coming over I'm getting a bite already getting a bite it's pretty solid I think I wouldn't mind a big common carp right here. It just feels like it could be a little bigger fish. Maybe I just need to go a really small hook. It could be carp or buffalo and they just can't get in their mouth. Got something. What did I get? It looks like a little quill back, like a little tiny baby quill back. Maybe that's what's biting. I'm bouncing off some stuff out there, so. There are just birds everywhere. They're all cleaning up this shad that's laying around. I should probably clean some up too, but it just doesn't look that fresh. I got a fish? Yeah, I got a fish. What was that? Another quill back? Almost looked like it was in his mouth, but I'm not sure. Unlikely, but it seemed like I was pulling him in head first. Well, I did it, folks. My camera went off, but I caught a carp sucker, and it was right there I caught him so I, I don't know it was right in the mouth so maybe he bit it seems to be a lot of these out there so maybe that's what's biting my worm also caught him on that cast before that I brought in a scale of something a pretty decent sized scale it looked like a buffalo potentially so there's some fish hanging out on that eddy out there my worm rod's still just getting pecked away at, but nothing much coming of it. Right as that current comes around the edge there, there's a bunch of fish sitting there. I'm bringing in some scales sometimes. Sometimes I'm bringing in junk. There's a fish. <coughs> that one we snagged. What is that? So it looks like, it's looking like cut bait. It's another small carp sucker. Bunch of those out there. I think we found out what is nibbling our worm. Those little guys. Just constant, look at that rod bounce. Just peck, peck, peck on that rod. There's actually a shad right down there below me. I need to hook that on for a second. There's another fish. <laughs> yeah, there's another carp sucker snagged. They're just bunched up around the end of this little uh, point here. Is that all there is out there? Another fish, this one's bigger. Is it a, yeah, it's a fish. Oh, lost him too, I'm snagging that, I'm snagging all these. What the heck, let's just snag stuff. One thing I like to do this time of year when I'm out fishing along the river is I like to bring a plastic bag and you can stock up on shad for catfishing. Last year, it produced a lot of big catfish for me down the road, so. Oh, here's some. Let's see if I can reach down there and get them. This is what my life has come to here. Grabbing, grabbing rotten shed. There we go. There's one. What about this one? That one's too old, I think. Yeah, that one's too old. That one's pretty fresh. You know, I kind of feel like an idiot, but I'll feel pretty smart if it catches me a 10 pound catfish. All right, I think that's enough for now. We got about uh, five or six, one big one, a bunch of small ones. 
We are out at a pretty rural river here. Maybe gonna do some, I don't know, cat fishing, carp fishing, drone fishing, whatever, fishing. Let's just see what's up here. I wanna make sure the water levels are high enough where there might actually be a fish. Hmm. Well, you see the sandbar right in front of me? That should normally be completely submerged this time of year. It is super low. It's This is typically what it looks like late in the summer on a dry year, so. So this is a river that I used to fish when I was young. This is how I got my start in this, this these type of waterways. This river connects to the Missouri River, and so usually what happens in spring is that when the waters get high, a lot of these catfish, carp, whatever, like to push up into this river to spawn or to find a quick meal. But when the water's this low, sometimes it's not that great. So sometimes they decide not to come up river here. So I've got some cut shad. We're gonna toss it down in some of these holes and see what bites. It's as easy as fishing. You could be a musician. It's all right, taking care of, whoa. Whoa! And I just have a feeling I'm gonna get wet feet and other things. It's about 38 degrees, I'd say, right now. Water temperature, low 50s. It's so low, I might have to, if I get stuck, I'm probably gonna have to wade and get myself out of a stuck position. See my Mary Ann walking away. Boom, 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 boom. I think I'm gonna try and go upriver first. I've been scouring Google Maps. I found a few spots that might be deep enough to hold some decent catfish. I've got, I think one other, other video where I waded this river. I'll put it in the description if I remember to. And you can check that out. Caught some catfish, caught some carp. I guess that was a spoiler, but that's how it went. Oh man, we're getting muddy now. Oh no, oh, oh shoot, oh, oh no. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. You gotta be kidding me. My footprints have completely disappeared. It's like quicksand right there. It's actually not as cold as I thought it would be. I think it's maybe because the water is warmer than the air. We're gonna head upstream here. Might be a lot of pushing myself off of sandbars. Okay, we're floating a little bit, but we're gonna have to stay in the channel here. So you can see there's like some sort of rock pile or something straight ahead and some current breaks. I think this could be a good spot up here. It's an interesting little spot. This rock pile and everything sitting out here in the middle. Let's see one more spot up here I want to look at. Oh, look at this choke point up here. It's got to be deep over here on this right side. Oh. I like this spot a lot. It's at least five feet. I can't reach the bottom. I just don't want to disturb whatever's in here, but I like this spot a lot. I think we're gonna stand right here and drop our lines in. Oh my gosh, it's all deep. Oh, and there's an animal, some sort of an animal. Yeah, I think I'll just drop my line right in here. That animal's making waves. Must be my friend the beaver who I see pretty much every trip, it seems like. Some sort of a, what's this? Look at that. It's like a gill plate from something. Some sort of carp, maybe? Huh. I guess it's a carp. It's a really big fish. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at this beautiful spot. Look how skinny it gets right here. Deep over here, deep around the corner. So I'm gonna throw one upstream. Maybe I'll just drop one straight down below me. And I'm probably throw one down there. All right, I'm anxious to get a line in the water. Been at this a while now and I haven't even casted a line. We got a nice little rock here. Cut up our chads. I'm just gonna toss one in. Ooh, that's not very big. It's frozen, it's not ideal. 
but it is convenient. All right, just a little chunk. One of the things I'm sure of is that we're in one of the best spots in the area. It's, I don't know, I'd say it's probably like six to eight feet. Plenty, plenty deep. Okay. There, we'll just use the hook setter as a rod holder right now. Should be fast. If it's not, we move on. We got a bite already, got a bite already. Yep. See if he's a real one or not. It's like I was saying, we'll know right away if it's good or not. Not sure where to go with this one. I wonder if I can hold one over here. I think I have enough weight I can hold it. Right there. Oh yeah. Here he goes. Here we go. Got one. Already on, folks. I don't think he's very big, but great sign. I don't think we'll eat him. Is this even a catfish? I don't think this is a catfish. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, it's a gold eye. I've never caught a gold eye out of this river. That is crazy. I've never caught one of these. And we got fresh bait. That guy's going to be bait. Are you kidding me? Never caught a gold eye in my life, I don't think. <laughs> Look at that. Gold eye. You can see why he's got his name. Gotta watch my other rod. That is cool. I've never caught one out of these, this river. Okay. Do we want to keep him? I think we want him for fresh bait. I think we want him for fresh bait. That took about two minutes. Oop. There we go, folks. Gold eye, my first of my life. Yeah, he's bleeding. We're keeping him. Okay, first thing I'm going to throw out is the guts. This is the best bait we could possibly get. I realized I was just showing that gold eye to the camera and I don't have that other camera on. Okay. Let's just drop this down. I think it might not take long. One of the coolest, probably my coolest catch of the year so far right there. <laughs> I mean, I fished this river my whole childhood growing up and I never caught one of those. So that's pretty awesome, to say the least. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down on this rock island. At the very least, it looks like a cool place to fish. We'll cast baits in all directions. I did see that it was deep on all sides of it, so. All right, see you later. Another good spot in the books without a bite. Well, there might have been one bite on the shad, but I couldn't tell. If it was, it was a weak one. All right, there it is, folks. I think I'm done. I don't see any reason to keep on with this. It's been a fun little float trip, exploring down there, found some good spots, but right now, they're not producing at all, as you have seen. The one positive we can take away is that gold eye, first one I've ever caught in my life. Never seen one on this river before, so that's pretty cool. We'll be back at you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.